modular programming is an important concept in uh, for any software development so modular programming is very important why because when you take uh, when you are taking a big problem uh, if it has to be solved then if you solve this as a single unit then uh, it is going to be uh, difficult to solve it so generally what uh, normally uh, we do in uh, modular programming is it is divided into several subtasks so each task is divided into several subtasks and every subtask so this is the big main task and this is subtask 1 subtask 2 subtask 3 subtask 4 and subtask 5 and every subtask is developed as a separate module so modular programming is the technique in which the programs the problem is divided into several subtasks and the program is divided into modules and every module takes care of every module takes care of its subtask so this is uh, the modular programming so it is very common uh, in any programming language uh, uh, the uh, problem is uh, the program is divided into modules and uh, every module is developed separately uh, the best example for modular programming is library so any language library if you take uh, it is divided into several uh, areas or domains based on which uh, it is uh, a uh, separate uh, development is made even in python it is same so python is having several modules uh, library modules like math module will take care of uh, mathematical related uh, activities there is a string module present there is pandas is another popular module numpy is module so uh, Based, so uh, based on the type of uh, problem you are solving in library uh, for uh, routine operations or the common operations uh, based on the type they have uh, divided into modules and every module is developed so uh, so module what actually uh, the advantage of modular programming is uh, it is easy to uh, develop the software and even the maintenance of the software is uh, easy because uh, uh, instead of developing one single problem uh, single module we have divided into sub modules and developed so maintaining the smaller sub modules uh, is very uh, easy compared to the uh, compared to maintaining one big module so that is one advantage of uh, modular programming maintenance uh, is easy maintenance of uh, the uh, software is uh, maintenance is uh, easy this is one thing uh, easy maintenance and uh, uh, second one is uh, uh, easy uh, ease of use you can usually use this modules because uh, i want uh, see if i keep everything here in one module then take using big module is of no use now i want a math module so i can just use math module so it is easy to use if it is modules not one single unit then another thing is it is reusability so once i have a module it can be reused anywhere anytime now uh, this module i am developing for my big project so uh, who the team involved in the project can use this module this is one thing second thing is i can use this module for third party use as means somebody wants to use my module so i am creating a module as third party library so i uh, i can use uh, anybody can use it if, if once it is made available to them this is another uh, usage of uh, the module and uh, you are developing a, s- a small program Uh, or you are developing a program which is not uh, very complex so you are developing uh, uh, in uh, uh, python uh, module is actually dot py file keep all the functions at one place and uh, use that uh, module so it's uh, so within one program uh, i am uh, having multiple dot py files and wherever it is required i can use it so this is uh, how the modules are developed but uh, Uh, when you take the module in python so this is uh, in general the module now when you take the module in python uh, what actually uh, done is uh, module in python so we'll see module in python this is a general module what i have given till now 
So when you take module in Python, module in Python, so module in Python is uh, just a .py file, .py file, uh, where uh, this file consists of mainly functions, mainly functions and uh, classes. So uh, if I uh, if I am developing uh, a project, uh, I may be creating a py file with functions and classes. Or if I am developing uh, a, a module for third party usage, then I may be having uh, functions or classes. Whatever may be the purpose, wherever this module is going to be used. Module in uh, Python is simple uh, program dot py file where there will be a series of functions and classes present. So that is uh, how. Uh, the module so creation of module is uh, uh, very simple here uh, it is uh, writing a dot py file writing a python program is creation of module so if you take the modules uh, in python or whatever may be the language first we have to create the module create module so creation of module in python is just uh, very simple uh, write uh, a dot py file write dot py file with the uh, uh, with functions and uh, uh, classes, with functions and classes mainly, functions and classes. We'll write one uh, with uh, functions, then use uh, wherever it is required, use wherever required. Now using here, now when I take using a module, it may be a library module or it may be your own module, uh, the usage is, uh, usage remains same. So if you take the using the module in Python, what we have to do is we have to say import. So the one uh, simple uh, usage is uh, import uh, module. So how do we import module in Python is import uh, the name of the Python file, name of Python file, name of Python file. Now I have created suppose for example a test.py with uh, uh, process as one function present in it calculate is another function present in it we'll see how to create it uh, one way of uh, uh, using this module uh, in program is i can say import import uh, test so when i say import test all the functions that are there uh, here available to this program now uh, I have imported then wherever I require this process, I can say test dot process. So I'd use the module name and the function name to call it. To call. So this is uh, so similarly, wherever I require calculate, I can say. Test dot calculate. I can use this. Test dot calculate. So this is uh, to call. Uh, calculate that is there in test function. Uh, this is one way of uh, using it. The other way of using it is the second way is it is more uh, uh, more uh, uh, efficient way is from module name from module name module name import whichever functions you want Im import function names so in this case what happens is uh, here in earlier case uh, when i import a module the functions will be available but each time i call a function i should use the module name in this case i need not use module name uh, because i am mentioning the uh, functions which uh, i need so i can say uh, i can write here from uh, suppose test from test import import process import process and calculate calculate so now uh, once this is uh, done i can use it uh, function directly i can say process to call it i need not use the module name to call i can use the just function name Similarly, I want calculate, call calculate to uh, call calculate with the name. I need not use uh, uh, the uh, module name. So this is uh, more uh, uh, efficient. The third way is you can rename the module. So the third way, what you can do is import module, import module, 
as uh, alias name. This is uh, generally a simple name we use. Uh, for example, if it is pandas, uh, uh, we'll say import. Uh, this is very popular thing pandas as pd, a short name. Similarly, uh, import numpy uh, as np as np uh, an alias name which will be short name uh, generally is used uh, once i rename the module uh, wherever i require i can use this uh, short name the rename alias name instead of uh, the full name instead of uh, uh, so whenever i want to call some function within pandas i can use pd in place of pandas uh, in uh, the example what i have created like test i told you import uh, here test module uh, suppose uh, as t so now whenever i want a process i can say t dot process so this is an alias name i can use the alias name uh, to uh, call the method process so to call i can use this so this is uh, another way of doing now what we'll do is we'll create a module here what i want to do is i want to create a module uh, here in this demo uh, i'm creating a module called files module called files that means uh, i am creating files dot py files dot py uh, then uh, here in this uh, uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, uh, write a function called merge files so i'll merge files what i do here is in merge files uh i'll pass source file name one source file two and source file three uh, sorry destination file these are the file name destination files so i'll combine these two into this that is one uh, function i want to have then i want to have uh, some info file info file info function i want to have what this function does is it takes some file name and it gives the line num uh, number of lines number of lines number of words number of words and number of characters number of characters it returns so this i want to have a module later wherever i want i can use this now uh, uh, before i proceed uh, okay i'll complete this writing then come back and uh, how to import import i have uh, used but uh, when i import a module it's a actually a file uh, the python searches for that uh, in a particular manner so what is that manner i'll see before that i'll uh, create uh, uh, create uh, uh, a module here i have opened netflix sorry uh, i have uh, uh, opened ideally so using uh, ideally i can create uh, the module here so i'll uh, open here i'll say i'll take define uh, merge files merge files so uh, i want the source file name one is file one uh, is file two and destination file so i i have this file name these are all names so i want to merge these two files so my requirement here is merge the files as file 1 as file 2 into d file this is uh, uh, my requirement uh, i i want to allow this to be used by anybody so i want to create i am creating a module so what I'll do is first I'll open file is file sf1 open I'll say uh, is file one and uh, if I just open by default it is read mode so I'm not uh, giving any mode similarly I'll say open uh, is file two is file two uh, then uh, then df equals to open uh, this I have to open in uh, write mode. So write mode, uh, I must uh, uh, mention the write mode. So I am mentioning. Now I have opened the files. I'll, I'll read the data, complete data in one go from uh, file one and move it into data. So for that, I require the statement SF1 read. So I'm read, I've read and kept. Then I'll write this into uh, destination file. Simply one go, I'll write it. So I've completed reading of uh, source file one and written into the uh, 
destination file. So, uh, in another go, I'll read data from the second file, sf2.read. Then uh, I'll write that data to the uh, destination file, df.write. So data, I've written that. Uh, that is uh, what I want. So I have to close, better close everything. Uh, so close the files. So close. Then sf2 dot close. Uh, sf uh, df dot close. So these are uh, the uh, one job I want to have in modules. So I'll name this. I'll uh, create uh, here uh, somewhere. I'll create. Uh, a folder okay in this folder i'll create uh, uh, a new folder called modules just i want to create modules here in this um, uh, folder i'll creep i'll keep uh, the file what i have uh, uh, created so uh, that i name it as uh, uh, files dot so what i'll do yeah python training here uh, modules i open modules here i'll save the module as files.py so it is saved as py i'll also write one more uh, function define file info file info uh, here it takes one file source file as input then uh, i'll open that file sf equals to open uh, for read purpose so i'll not uh, uh, mention the mode because by default it is read now uh, i'll read line by line so lines i'll say lines sf read line because i want to have read lines uh, uh, number of lines so i'm reading uh, instead of one go i'm reading uh, in the form of lines so i'll count i'll take line count lc as zero uh, then uh, word count as zero. Uh, then uh, character count as zero. So now for every line in lines. So for every line in lines, what I'll do is I'll uh, increment the line count. Then I'll find the number of uh, uh, words in a line. So I'll add WC equals to WC plus. Uh, in line i'll find the number of spaces so number of spaces gives me the words but the last word will not have any space so i'll add one to it so this is number of words and number of characters is cc equals to cc plus uh, the length of the line number of characters in the line i'll add it to the total number of characters so this is my requirement uh, this is uh, what i am doing then i'll close the file sf and i'll return this as a uh, as a, uh, list so lc comma wc comma cc this is uh, another uh, function i have now i have created this module uh, because uh, here i'm not calling any function just i'm preparing the module uh, and uh, keep it ready for uh, later usage so it is uh, done now it is ready now I want to use this module. So for that I'll write a program. That is I'll write it as a client program. This I'll say client uh, means the program which uses some module. Just I want to give it as client. I'll store in the same folder. Here what I'll do is I'll create uh, some text files. I'll create some text files uh, because I want to merge the files. So I should uh, keep it ready. So I'll say uh, one, this I'll say one dot txt. One dot txt. I'll keep in the same folder where my program is present and module is present. So Python training. So I'll go to modules. Here I'm storing one dot txt. So I'll say this is uh, uh, a text file. Uh, it is uh, it is having pure text. Uh, it is going to be used in Python module. So I have just three lines of data. So I'll keep this as first. Then I'll uh, take one more 
here second dot txt so i'll say this is another file file and uh, it is it is going to be merged with the first file uh, the uh, python module used for this purpose is files dot py uh, client program uses this module match so some i am creating now i want to merge this into third file so i am saving so i'll write a client program so here i am writing a client program yeah client program so i'll import import files dot files so i am importing files the other way is okay i'll import the first way as i told you uh, then what i'll do is i'll uh, merge i'll call files dot merge files i'm using the module the function present merge files i'm using so i'll pass one dot txt as first source file then uh, what names i have given uh, so one second so other i have given it as second dot txt then i'll uh, merge it dot txt i want to merge into that so this is i want then i'll uh, call this uh, in uh, merged file print uh, for finding the information so files dot file info i'll uh, say i'll pass the merged text which is just now created merged text which is going to be created so i'm going to do this now one important thing here is when i'm saying import files what do you mean by that when i say import files import files because this is a module this is a module files is a module so it it requires files dot py files dot py now when it requires a module like files dot py the search order what it does is search order what it do is uh, first it searches for this module in library searches for files dot py module in library then uh, it will search in the local folder local uh, means where you are keeping the client program local folder it searches so now what i am doing it is not there in the library see i am keeping the client program and the module programming in the same folder so when i am using import here when i am using import in clients uh, client uh, uh, import in client.py in the same folder where client.py is there there is mod uh, files.py so it can use directly so uh, the second uh, thing here is it searches in the local folder and if not then it searches in all the folders that are mentioned in python path which is environment variable uh, python path like uh, path java path there is a python path and searches in python path folders so this is how the searching happens and uh, once it is found it will be used imported into the current program if uh, not found it will give module not found error errors is a different uh, topic altogether so this is the order in which it is uh, searching now i'll uh, execute this now it will searches for files in the current folder so client is uh, uh, present in modules and uh, current folder there is files so it is not a problem now i'll try to execute it should work fine so no close is not defined uh, name close is not defined somewhere some problem in files.py there is a problem so i'll open that files.py here close sorry here uh, the mistake 
is I have to do sf dot close. So I have used C style uh, because this is a Python program. I have to do in Python style. So again, keep it ready uh, by interpreting it. So now uh, go to this and execute this. Now it should work fine. So it is giving. So what it has done is it has created a merged file. So this is created. So it is created just now. Twelve forty one. Time is twelve forty one. It is created just now, and uh, uh, it has the merged file uh, one dot txt, two dot txt combined, and it is created. And uh, it has given the information about this file like number of lines. So the number of lines are seven. So there are seven lines, and number of words are thirty, and uh, number of uh, um, number of characters are 236 so this is how we create and use uh, the module in python so the uh, another way uh, as i told you uh, the second way of using or third way i'll give as f now instead of files i can use uh, uh, f simply so this is alias name so instead of lengthy name i can use shortcut name so here f dot this is the second way or third way as per the order what I have given. Now if I execute, I'll get the same result. So I'm getting same result. The other way of importing it importing is uh, from files. Uh, I'll say from. Files uh, import star. I can say import star. When I say import star, all the files, uh, just the functions will be made available. I can uh, call this function directly without any uh, module name. So here also it will give. Now I want, uh, there, there are hundreds of functions. I want only the particular function. So I can use the function names, merge files is one function I want to use. Of course, in this uh, program, there are only two functions, but I want to mention both. So this is another way of uh, uh, referring the functions in a module. So all uh, merge merger files, some name I have given wrong here. It is merge files. So that's why it gave error. So now I'll execute it again. So uh, I'll get the output. So this is how we create modules and uh, use the modules. Uh, in 